and welcome. How are you all? Have you had a good um, month? I know for you guys right now it is the beginning of February but it's the 9th of January so I hope you all had a good new year. So let's run you through a few things that I have done. I will show you them on the screen. So I did some, crocheted some baskets. I did show a couple of these items in my business video but in case you missed it I've been crocheting which I've really been enjoying. I also finished the needle felting whale kit from Nicola Dean which was lovely um, and I really like the glass base that it's on I think it sets it off nicely and then I'm also working on a fox uh, 2D sort of hoop picture from I think it's Danny Ives on Domestica so um, I'm working on that right now but as you saw I went to Edinburgh I'll just show you a few bits that I purchased up there because we always love having a look at those. I've also tidied my shelves. So here's the before. It was a bit messy. Um, I just sort of didn't know where everything was and I don't like looking at it when the rest of my office is quite tidy. It was a bit of a mess. So I spent a bit of time, tidied it all up. I've gone through all the paperwork and I have so many cards. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. I've gathered so many, but we're going to have to start using them. And so here it is all tidy, uh, much happier with it. And I've got lots of blank spaces as well. So a couple of new things uh, that are, my business has been sort of forced into paying really. New printer, which the printer, the top bit just sort of snapped when I went to replace the cartridges. Um, luckily, not a problem with Royal Mail. That was the only thing I had to do at the time. Uh, they just you can get them to bring labels for you which is a really good service normally I like to do the labels myself so new printer I've also had a new um, computer now my son has a it's uh, a gaming computer from him basically he upgraded and so I have purchased this one off him I am still giving him some money towards it not loads but he could have sold it for quite a bit so I've got a really good high powered computer and yes I have a green keyboard and I bought it just because of the colour. Um, so those are a few things that my business has had to pay for, but these things happen. Um, so with regards orders, I still had, um, even when I went to Edinburgh, I came back and I had to pack about six or seven orders. So the orders were still coming in, so thank you, you know, very, very much. And as of today, it sounds really awful that I'm happy that I've got no orders, but it's just nice to have that little break where there's no orders to be packed or picked up or collected. And as you saw, I was making up my sheep kits because they had run out and it was so cold. And yes, I could have done some of those bits in the warm, but everything's out there and I'm really belligerent. I it's just it's annoying to have to move everything in and out again. So I just sat there and did it. So what did I buy? Um, so first off, up in Edinburgh, um, I saw you would have seen me go around the Christmas markets and I bought this embroidery kit from this lady. The company is called Paraffle, which means, I think it means embroidery in Scottish. So um, that's really lovely and I love the way she's packaged the kits and it's going to be fun to, this is why I like doing these things, it's going to be fun to look inside them. But she was so lovely. Um, I did have a chat with her. So she's been at, it's Edinburgh, of course, it's a really big um, it's what you know after London you'd probably think Manchester Edinburgh so she was at the Christmas markets I think seven weeks and I should imagine it was seven days a week how much do you think it was 11,000 pounds and it's not going to be private or anything because I should imagine it's standard across all the stalls and I don't know if hers was a double maybe it was it was quite wide 11,000 pounds but she said it was definitely worth it so that's really really good but yeah just off a just off a little stand I bought this little um what would you say patchwork rabbit I'm not sure but it was just six pounds I was like how does she do that for six pounds so that was nice to see I also went to a couple of other really nice shops and just to show you I bought this lovely hair tea towel Let's see if it'll yeah you can see the hairs quite well so that's going to be nice shall I open it up let's open it up I almost want to keep it in my office for some reason. <laughs> I just work out some way of having it in my office. Let's hope that's not too see-through and you can see that. Isn't that lovely? Really beautiful. Um, and so that was just in, it's called Dolly Hot Dogs. Is Dolly Hot Dogs Art Illustration. So that's really nice. 
Dolly Hot Dogs, that's a good name. Then I went to, so I went to a place called Kathy's Knits. That was the first one I went to in Edinburgh. It's a wool shop. Um, yeah, it was okay. It You know, not too bad. It wasn't the one on the video. So I bought these three and I'm just going to use them as detailing if I do any 2D felt. So I just thought they were a lovely colour combination and they are Uradale, Ur Uradale. Uradale yarns so that's really nice jumper weight but it is organic native Shetland wool Uradale so it's just yeah really lovely 100% organic native Shetland wool lovely colour combo and then I went to uh, what's it called ginger twist I think it is so it's moved I went before and it was in a teeny literally like it felt like it was the size of my studio uh, shop and it was it's so small um, so they've moved around the corner and it's much much bigger premises and I bought do you know I gravitated straight to this and I bought this last time it's so bizarre that your tastes are just you know the same so I bought these three they are called the Croft 100% oh Shetland wool again from the Isle of Arran the Yorkshire spin oh the Yorkshire the uh, West Yorkshire spinners oh yeah I know them from um, Yarndale but these are really nice colour combo also just to show you I got this one from Barn to Yarn over Christmas I just couldn't resist it um, it's got a bit of sparkle in it which uh, I didn't expect but I still really really like it if you look at it it's going to be a really nice sort of feature wool to put in things and then I went into that um, lovely bookshop which um I've never been in before or even though my dad only lives around the corner and I bought this book where I found it and so it's got some interviews in it with artisans which is really good like Cindy Lou Thompson is in here there's a couple of others that I think I know um but it's quite wordy but it's more about the history and I just think there might be a couple of really interesting bits and pieces I might get out of this book because I've never seen it before but yeah so that's quite good it's felting by Lynn Huggins Cooper so getting out my planner, which is huge really. A couple of other things to update you on. I did tell you in that last video about my business figures that I have applied for crafts in the pen. I think I mentioned it. So that would be great. I'm also booked on Andrea Hunter Workshop. I mentioned that last time, that's in May. But I found a wet felted swan course um, on the 17th of February and they're doing a little bit of embroidery over the top. Um, I can't remember the name of the place. It's not very far away. It's not Hebden Bridge. It's a bit further over. And I don't even know the name of the lady apart from she's called Sarah, but I really liked the picture that we were going to be doing. And then I'm also booked in March on a Zoe Stainton course for a fox, which will be interesting because the picture that was on the advert for it is not the fox we're going to be doing because that would have taken about three days. So, but I just would like to talk to Zoe a little bit more and because I'm going to be doing workshops, it's really interesting for me to go and see other people's workshops and how they run it. So let's get on with that fox picture, finish that, and then I'm going to be making up the items for my workshop. <laughs>
sitting here designing my workshop um, sheep. So yeah, coming along with that. But this one just sold, which is one of my punch needles. So it's really lovely when a punch needle sells because, you know, it's different. And this is the one that I didn't like the bottom bit. So I'm going to do some more punch needle at some point. But this is going to a lovely lady in Whitby. So I'm just going to package that one up. Everybody has their job, nine to five, and getting drained. They settle for second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring, I hope. So I had a good sit down reading this book about felting. The camera's flipped around, that's why everything looks the other way around. Um, got quite far on my herdwick, sort of all there. Now I'm waiting, so I've done the horns and the ears, and now I'm waiting for the eyes and the coat. Um, and then, so I was gonna do two different types of sheep on the workshop. I'm going to do a video on the planning of my workshop to go through it all there's quite a lot of details to talk through if you were thinking of planning your own workshop so I thought it'd be quite useful but I'm also going to do I'm going to release the dates for that one and the Highland cow when um, they're done and ready take some nice pictures of them and see if anyone is interested in attending I'm happy with the venue sort of I'm nearly there with everything but yeah I'm feeling a bit blur however the sun is shining ready mm. That's how sunny it is here. It's really, really sunny. The dogs have been lounging in the sun. We had a great walk. But it kind of makes you feel really... January can make you feel really blur, I think, anyway. so. But I'm just embracing that feeling, just relaxing. Most of my extra work is done. I'm quite happy with everything at the moment. And just not pushing myself too much. <laughs> Second, and it's been one of the windiest days. I, that was probably the windiest dog walk I have ever been on, and I've been on a lot of windy dog walks, but I didn't get wet, so that's good. Um, lots of things to catch you up on. So my workshop, um, cow and sheep, I'm really happy with. I'm compiling the website. It's very painful doing the website. Oh, just formatting the photos, the right size, and everything. I'm going to go back to the place that I think I'm going to have the workshop at and I'm going to book it and then I'm going to release it and it should be released probably in the next five days before this um, studio vlog comes up so if you're interested do go and have a look at my website it's under workshops and you can book it directly there so yeah really pleased with the cow and the sheep and how they've come out and feel confident that people will be able to replicate them within the two days they might not be able to finish all of the coat on on but well probably I'm not sure I think the Highland cow was the, was quicker than the sheep but anyway so that's good what else um I have applied to Yarndale because it came out and I thought I would be silly not to apply to that just in case I didn't get crafts in the pen um, so I have applied to it 
again that took about two hours that's just ridiculous why these things the the pictures had to be small like under three megabytes so I have to resize them all and then you could only do two but how can you show off your work in two just two pictures so I uh, compiled a, I went on Canva and I did about five or six pictures within one picture so that showed lots more of my work um, so I've applied you know same as last year probably won't get into either of them but I just keep applying <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to say was um, I came across I don't know how I saw it but it's a new website called new Monday or it's been around for a bit I'm not sure but like there's folksy out there which I don't quite like the format of it so much but new, new Monday looked quite uh, straightforward so what I did um, I had a look at it and it was £45 for the whole year, no commissions. Obviously, I think you do get charged a small amount by Stripe because all the payments are through Stripe. And it was actually half price when I looked at it. So it was £23.50 for the whole year and no commission. And I thought, well, it's worth having a go at. So I have um, started a new Monday site and I've just got my three kits on there just to see. Because if I sell a couple, then I would have got my money back. And anything more after that would be great. You never know with these sites whether they're going to do well or not. But there's not that much needle felting on there, so I thought it was just interesting, and I do like the format and the way it's laid out, and it was really, uh, it was easy because I had an Etsy um, listing already done, so I could just sort of copy and paste, but still the format was quite easy to work through, so it wasn't a problem. The only thing is it's you have to be UK. You can post abroad, but you have to be based in the UK, and like I said, it's payment through Stripe. So I might buy something through it and just see what it's like. Because um, I should imagine, I don't know if you need a Stripe account. Maybe you don't. It's probably all right. It's probably fine. So that that was interesting. So that's New Monday, N-U-M-O-N-D-A-Y. I have been crocheting, which I showed you um, a, a little bit of. And I'm enjoying it. This one, I'm using a tiny little crochet thing. Is it three? three millimeters so it's really small so it's taking ages but I'm still waiting for my wools from America to start my temperature blanket so I'm looking forward to that and then I bought this book as well which is just out by it's Michelle Hickman from she's Fursey is that how you say it Fursey no hang on Fursey that's the name of her um, needle felting company Fursey I'm sure that's how you say it but um, yeah so this is quite interesting I've had to look through um, it covers uh, quite a lot of different things. It covers birds, which is good. It covers faces. Um, not in immense depth, but in pretty good depth. And it's good to see all the work. She does a lot of different things. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, and she talks you through the hair while armature and through some dogs. It's okay. You know, it's good. It was. It's smaller than I thought when it arrived, but actually it's quite a nice size. And there's some photos inside, you know. So that's quite an interesting one. I was pleased to get it just to support her, really. I think it's only 12 twelve ninety nine, 99 so it's not much. So that's really good. And I am, I do keep getting asked about my bags. Do you remember I did, not this one, but the bags that I have, these are really nice tote bags. And I put some lovely pictures on them. Um, so I've got to order, because I keep getting requests for them. So I've got to put some of those on my website again it's about having these little items that will just boost your income boost your sales quite easy to do so yeah I'm just sorting out the um, DTF transfers for that which I'm not very good at formatting it all properly my son will give me a hand later but yeah so being busy and I think I'm gonna go and visit the workshop hall today and go and have a look at it just wanted to show you these that have arrived I um, have been plowing ahead with my workshops really happy with the venue now I will do a video on it like I said but it's not going to be that relevant until I do the workshop I don't think but anyway so these walls have arrived for my temperature blanket which I'm going to crochet so this is all the colors there so that's the range of it and that's the temperatures I've come up with and this is my little chart but yeah really pleased with the walls they're really soft they are lion brand Heartland range so, oops, sorry, it's my finger. So pleased with that. Um, there's a dog under there <laughs> moving around. And these have arrived. These are my DTF transfers just for bags. Um, just uh, I'm going to do a couple more up. I, I'm fairly happy with them. Those are the hedgehog ones. And oh, one last lot. Oh, yes, yeah, so I've got quite a few. Where's the other mushroom one? Oh, there's the other mushrooms. 
I really like them. So yeah, that'll be interesting. I'll get those done over the next few days. And my kits are super low. Um, <laughs> I've just been putting off doing them in January. Probably because it's been so cold, but today's a lovely day, so it's really warm. So um, yeah, I shall do some kits over the weekend, I think. So it's Friday and uh, it's launch day for my um, workshops and I am really nervous. I'm just doing some crochet just to sort of calm me down. So I'm going to send an email out at midday uh, to all my people on my email lists and say that you've got a six hour head start before I announce it on social media um, later on. So then I'll put it on Instagram and I'll do a little video for YouTube. I've got to wash my hair and everything. It's only like eight in the morning just drop my daughter off at the bus station but I feel sick I really do and don't go thinking oh yeah just because you look like you have a good business and you look like you're doing really well means that you're confident with these things and that's why I've put off doing workshops and I just have no idea how it's going to go um I started the temperature blanket I couldn't resist <laughs> it's so long it's going to be so nice so yeah just doing a bit of crochet just to sort of calm me down a bit I've got a cup of tea I don't think I can eat anything I do feel really sick about releasing these workshops and I've really ummed and ahed over the price as well I don't know if any of you have seen the interview with Joe Hobbs from Curly Joe Creations on the makers I will link it um, down below or we are makers sorry not the makers um but like it's the magazine I showed you it's it's those people that run that business it's a really good interview it's it's um fantastic so hopefully she'll put it on her feed on instagram and then everyone will see it so that'll be good but i will link it down below and i watched all of that and it is about definitely valuing yourself as um a maker is very important but then i want people to book on the workshop you know and i feel that the price i have it at is quite a lot anyway but then I've jumped on workshops or jumped at the chance of doing workshops that are £100 a day, £150 a day. So it's hard. It's really, really hard. I am happy with the amount of um, profit because the venue is quite expensive um, that I am making. So, but yeah, I will keep you updated later on today and let you know how it goes. So I just want to show you this is the start of the table where everything is ready for the kits and then I will show you so I've got that there I've got all the boxes here just finished my tea need another one um so this is the start this is um how it looks and then I'll show you the best bit of making kits in a sec so this is by far the best bit when you do the last one and everything is gone on the table and then you know you've got everything right in everybody's kits and the table is empty. I have so much wool in this hair kit that I do struggle to get it in the box. Although I think it's really nice when people open it and it's like bulging with wool. So I think it's really good. I tried to separate those colors. So the brown and the black look very similar. And then put the last few bits in nice welcome page there fold the tissue paper over nice little sticker lots of fun little stickers to seal it and then the final one and the table is empty which is great that's I do sort of check as I go along so I don't miss things but this is the best bit these stickers are a little bit tricky to get all the backing off <laughs> okay this is like the worst one of the whole lot and then another one there we go all right then put all of these away Every time. 
So here are all the designs. It's quite tricky to show you with one hand everything. I'm going to try. So that's a, a wolf. That's a nice, oh, Maltzy fishies. That's a couple of sheep. There's, so hard to show you. That's another mushroom. And then the hedgehogs just there. And let's see what side. And then this is Highland cows and then um, hares. So I just wanted something if I do end up being lucky enough to get into Cross and Pen or Yarndale that's really eye catching on my stand. Um, I want that one for myself, but I can't. <laughs> I'm supposed to be making money. But yeah, really pleased with them and how they come out. And I'm using the heat press, which is good because I kind of bought it for my daughter if we were gonna do stuff with her business, but she's at college, she doesn't wanna do that right now. So at least I'm doing stuff with it and making money by using it, so that's really good. You've got me sitting in my comfy chair. So it's Monday and it's the day after the weekend of putting out the workshops and they are half full, which is, a, to me, I'm really, really pleased with that. I'm really relieved and I've got another three inquiries, I think it is, so that's, you know really good and it's not a decision people can make really quickly as well because to go away for a whole weekend is you have to sort of plan it don't you so yeah really relieved about that and they'll definitely go ahead so that's really good um i have booked to go to the east anglian yarn festival if anyone else uh, has been there it's a very new one but yeah i'm really looking forward to that and i've actually booked to do a class there for crochet so yeah just to show you this is my temperature blanket and this is nearly all of January there's probably another eight days to go but oh, I really love it I'm really really pleased with it and it's so long and don't worry I'll still be doing lots of felting but I just think it's really good to do lots of other bits and bobs so I'm gonna finish this vlog here and I hope you um, have a wonderful month I think um, I'm going to be doing the horse course it's either that or two kits I'm kind of setting myself things to do each month and that just sort of compartmentalizes things and, and then I don't have to panic too much. I'm also just going to felt some little Highland cows getting ready for craft fairs. So yeah, uh, any questions, pop them in the comments below and I, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's not as much needle felting, but crafting and doing other bits and bobs sort of all round helps me, I think, bring it all together. And like I'm going to do scarves for some of my... Um, needle felted items so that's why crochet really helps with that because I can't knit so all right have a fantastic month and we'll see you again next month take care everybody and thank you for being here bye <laughs>